Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week ahead. So it would be for March 22nd through the 28th, but keep in mind the timing is fluid. I'm going to be doing your April reading directly after this, so you might want to catch that as well for any time in April. So, what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of March, or the end of March, you could say, March 22nd through the 28th? What do we have for Aquarius? I just put lotion on, so my hands are uh, sticky, not sticky. Um, anyway, I just put lotion on. So, what do we have for Aquarius? I guess we'll take those. <clears throat> Boat. Money or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. Goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Bull. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Do not back down from opposition. Show, show strength and fortitude. Love, you may be, uh, your relationship may be stepping it up to the next level where you're really focusing on love. You could be pairing up with somebody that is uh, wealthy. And I'm not sure if that's the case, but whatever is happening, there's abundance here. Okay, there's abundance of love and there's abundance of money. So, uh it looks really, really, really good. But with this bull card, you're being called to not back down from opposition or you're dealing with somebody that is challenging you. Like I said, bull represents Taurus, but you, you know, maybe you need to take on an energy of, you know, uh, standing your ground or you're dealing with somebody that is is uh, very stubborn, you know. You could be dealing with somebody that is opposing you in some way. This could be somebody that is your opposite, you know, in a lot of ways. And, and uh, this person is very, very strong. Could be you as well. Um, either way, you're going to be receive, seeing an increase this month, an increase of love and abundance. So that looks really good. So what are we, did I say month, this week? Things are going to happen this week. What do we have for Aquarius? Looks really, really good. You could be dealing with opposition this week and it's saying don't run away from it. Don't run away from it because whatever this is, this is something abundant okay it's worth it it's worth it to invest in whatever this is this is a win of some sort it's almost like your ship has come in because you know this boat is on land so your ship and it may be a relationship you know whatever it is your ship has come in King of Cups reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Ooh, Temperance reversed. Now when we get reversals, that's an extreme of some sort. Ace of Wands reversed. And yeah, you know, I'm not trying to make them all reverse. Everything happens for a reason. A judgment reversed. And no, my deck is not upside down. Death reversed. The world, upright. So this is a lesson that has been learned. This is an accomplishment. This is success. Okay? You have been in a situation where there has been a lack of success. There's some sort of frustrations here with temperance reversed. You may have been feeling a lack of love or, you know, emotionally unsettled in some way and maybe there's been a lack of drive or a lack of excitement or a lack of growth in your life but that's the end and it's actually really good that these are in reverse and then this one is upright this is a new beginning it's it is it's a major new beginning one chapter of your life is over and this this chapter where there was no growth things are about to change okay i feel like um 
somebody may have been investing in a dead end. I just got to be honest with you. There's some sort of um, lack of growth, lack of emotional content, lack of passion. You may have been in a passionless situation where there was no desire to, or there's no desire, there's no passion. And there's some sort of frustrations here. And there's repeating negative patterns with the temperance reversed. And this is moving on from a bad choice. You may have been involved with somebody that was very forceful. You know, somebody that was trying to force themselves into your life. Trying to force you to reconcile with them. Trying to force you to do things their way. You know, there's, we have a forceful energy here. And this is, it's interesting. Do not back down from opposition. I think that you have an opposing force here that is, it's almost like trying to emotionally manipulate you. This person, um, may be malicious. They may be a gossip. This is like another person, um, it could be your ex. It's somebody that you, it could be somebody that you were engaged with in the past, uh, that uh, talks behind your back, that caused very melodramatic, causes a lot of problems. Uh, this person has is almost it's almost like they've hindered your your new life. They've hindered your new beginning because they were so forceful. But I feel I feel like uh, maybe you're shutting down your emotions for this person, and maybe you need to because you have a new life that is beginning. You do, and I think that holding on is getting old with this person, or this person has maybe this person was obsessed with you in some way. Um, I feel like this is like a no. It's like no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna do this with you. You know, I think that you need to definitely stand your ground and tell whoever this person is that you're dealing with that you don't want to have anything to do with them. Um, you got somebody here that is uh, uh, controlling, okay? This person is self-righteous. They're jealous. They lie. They're revengeful. They're controlling. They have a self-image problem. And they put they put it onto you. And I feel like this week you need to... I feel like you need to tell them no. I feel like you need to tell them no to stay away from you. This per there's ill health here. You could be dealing with somebody that is unhealthy. You know, there and you need to, you need to remove yourself from that situation. Anyhow, um death reversed. That is holding on. Holding on is getting old. You have an opportunity for a new life here. But you're going to have to shut somebody down. You do have to shut somebody down. You do. It's like you're not attracted to this person anymore. And they just won't leave you alone. And you probably want to move on. But they won't let you. Um, I feel like you, you're dealing with somebody that doesn't listen to any advice. This is a know-it-all. You got a know-it-all here that is in your life that you, I feel like you need to push this person away. Um, I feel like this is a major completion for you. You need to leave the past behind. You're moving towards the future. You have success right in front of you where you're going to be in total balance, totally in the flow. Um, and, and you've learned a lesson from somebody. You have. I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign or somebody that is, has a lot of fire in their chart. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could all, we have Scorpio here a couple times as well. Um, I do feel like you, you have somebody here that is melodramatic. Okay? They, they um, have been weighing you down. Okay? Melodramatic, weighing you down. And I feel like you've completed that cycle with this person. But this person is hindering you. They are hindering you. I feel like... Uh, Something is definitely off with the temperance reverse. You know, you think it's interesting because temperance comes after death and we have them in the same lineup. They're both reversed. It's like something is over, but refusing to let go, refusing to heal, refusing to accept. You got either it's you or somebody that you're dealing with that is refusing to accept that it's over. It's completely over. You know, and I and I feel like you're you really need to stand your ground because I think you have a new exciting opportunity that you can't really jump into until this. And th this is this person's uh, thing is that they probably know that you are starting a new life. They know that you are um, 
that the cycle is over. They know that you have moved on. And so they they think that if they, they can hold you back and, and it's almost like you're allowing them to hold you back by not standing your ground. You do need to stand your ground with whoever this person is. It, it feels like, like you don't want to be with this person. You have no desire to be with this person. And I feel like this person may pull at your heartstrings. Maybe it's with emotional blackmail or tears or whatever. Or they're dramatics. You're dealing with somebody that, you know, puts out a lot of drama. Anyhow, I feel like you have a major new beginning here. And you need to, um, maybe you just need to... Uh, really tell this person that there is no chance judgment reversed is there's no chance in reconciliation or you may some and, and you know this could go vice versa somebody needs to accept there's no acceptance there's no acceptance of the truth you're dealing with somebody that is refusing they're obsessed they are obsessed okay they refuse to accept the truth now i feel like you have completely completed this cycle you've learned your lesson you're focused on the future and i feel like you have a major new beginning that could this is like a new era it's a new you it's a new life um i think there will be an incident with somebody this week this is somebody there's good this is somebody that is very melodramatic and they may throw a fit so you may be dealing with somebody that throws a fit you know, and, and this person could make you angry, okay? This is somebody that is going overboard. And you may need to re-examine your connection with this person. Maybe you need to block them. I don't know. This person may try to make you feel guilty. You definitely have somebody here that is... Um, acting inappropriately and, it, and they may be very extremely jealous they may it, it be jealous of your success or jealous or upset that you have decided to focus on something else and it is definitely getting old so i feel like you really need to you know you see this bull do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude you are going to be dealing with some opposition this week could be from a friend that you thought was a friend that really isn't your friend there's going to be it could be but it could be from an ex or it's just or another woman or another man or somebody you're going to be dealing with some drama this week unfortunately you're dealing with somebody that is not healthy okay they're not they're not healthy. I don't think it's you. It could be. We have somebody here that needs to master their emotions. They need to change something. Something needs to change. The temperance reverses change. Now this could be you. This is, this is um, refusing to change. There's a better life. There's something better out here. We have somebody here that is unwilling to change. Whether it's you or them. I mean, the temperance reverse is unwillingness to change. Unwilling to accept that something is off. You know, something is off. There's a need to re-examine. There's a need to re-examine whoever this is that's weighing you down. Re-examine your future. Re-examine what you want. So I do feel like it's time to move on from a bad choice. I think that you're dealing with somebody that, you know, is very forceful, very a know-it-all. You're definitely dealing with a know-it-all and you need to find your strength to say no to this person. Say no. This is a card of freedom. It's a card of success. This is completion. This is leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. This is, you know... Something has caused your evolution. This person has taught you some sort of lesson, okay? They came into your life to teach you a lesson. You learn that lesson. It's time to move on. And maybe you need to tell them that. Some of you are going to be traveling or relocating. This could be a change of residence. And it could be for somebody, if you live with somebody, you know, there's somebody that is holding you back from your new life and I think that you need to tell them no you need to tell them the truth 
this person may put doubts inside of you, you know? This per I feel like whoever you're dealing with is poor, poor, pitiful me. Poor, poor, pitiful me. I don't think it's you. I think that, that this, that, you know, you've, somebody has been holding on to you or you've been holding on to somebody. It could go either way. And it's, it's like, this is definitely getting old. There is no chance for reconciliation and there's a lack of acceptance. There's a need to accept that there's a new beginning here. The fool. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. There are and reverses is extremes. There's an absence of success in this current situation. And you do have an opportunity for a new life. This is somebody who ignores advice. The fool reversed. The judgment reversed. The temperance reversed. This is negative repetitive patterns. We have somebody here that is foolish. They've missed an opportunity and they don't want to let go. There's a lack of judgment here with both of these cards. This is a poor judgment call. Somebody has made a poor judgment call and they need to move on from that choice that they've made. They need to be honest with themselves. They may have jumped into it foolishly. It's time to accept that it's over. That's acceptance that it's over. But there's fear. There is definitely fear for some reason. Maybe it's fear of not finding something better. Whoever you're dealing with does not have good intentions. They don't. They're not emotionally available. Okay, they're not. This is somebody that is withdrawn. You know, they're withdrawn emotionally. They may have, um, they may be attractive. They may have, there's some sort of attraction to them, but, but nothing that ever lasts. There's nothing long term, no pentacles here, none. And I feel like you have something that is more valuable as soon as you decide to go for something better. There is a better life here, but you have to exchange, okay? And I feel like there's somebody is bringing a lot of frustrations onto you because they're obsessed. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is obsessed with you. My stomach, I do apologize. The world is a major completion this is freedom. It's completion of a cycle where there has been a lot of drama with another person. Something is coming to an end. The devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with an Aries. This is breaking free, severing ties. You must free yourself. You must break free. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom, 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 freedom. Freedom. It's time to break free from somebody's grip. There is obsession. You have somebody here that is extremely obsessed with you. Or you're obsessed with them. There's obsession here. It's time to end this cycle. Whoever you're dealing with is in a deep, dark place. And, and I feel like things have gotten worse with this person. This person is in their ego. There is ego here. There is pride. There's codependency issues and mainly obsession. So, or materialism. You need to break free from something that you are tied to. You do. I feel like this week you probably will be taking steps in a new direction.
whoever you are dealing with is probably ill, okay? They're probably, you know, sick in some way. They have some sort of ailment, and they may use that ailment to control you, you know? It's like, a, um, you know, it's that poor, poor, pitiful me thing, you know? I'm sick, I need your help, that kind of thing. To control you. Manipulation. Extremely manipulative. You got somebody here that is not healthy. Okay? And they may use that health to get you to um, stick around. Make you feel guilty. Don't allow it. You have a new beginning here. You do. This right here, Nine of Wands, is defend yourself, protect yourself. You may have to set some boundaries. I think that you have come a long way. Maybe you're maybe you're you're growing weary in this situation. Maybe there's a lot of frustrations here. There is frustrations here. You're probably going growing frustrated with an individual who just won't accept that something is over. I think that this week you need to put your guard up and you need to really tell this person no, whoever it is. You are severing ties with an individual that is unhealthy, extremely unhealthy. This person is headed for a fall. And they it feels like this person, I'm not sure whoever you're dealing with, if they are if they are there could be a court ruling against this person. I don't know who this person is, but somebody could be dealing with uh, legalities. They could be going to court and they could, you know, be forced to deal with their addictions. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that has addictions that has been lying in court or, or something like that. They may be forced. Something is definitely, definitely off. We have the end of a chapter in your life. It's really actually quite good. But I don't think it's going to end easily, okay? I feel like something is off. I think there's going to be a disturbance and I don't need the tower card to see that or to say that. Okay, I feel like you got somebody here that uh, has some sort of addictions, whether it's drugs, alcohol, control, ego, pride, whatever it is. There's somebody, or codependency, there's somebody here that is obsessed, or they're very extremely unhealthy. I feel, I feel like this person, whoever this person is, is they are headed for a fall. They are. There's going to be an incident with this person. This person has tried to keep you bound. They have tried to keep you stuck. I think it's all coming to an end this week. There's definitely somebody that is going overboard. No doubt about it. You're going to be broken free either way. You're going to be broken free from this person. And you are headed down the path to love and abundance. And so everything starts this week. I do think it's going to be emotional. I think it's going to be emotional. And I know I just repeat, I repeat myself all the time. It is going to be emotional. This is sudden. It is sudden. Something is going to happen suddenly. You could be dealing with somebody who can't master their emotions. They have some sort of outburst and, you know, uh, things don't end well. Things go south really, really, really fast. There could even, I'm not sure, but there could even be, I mean, this could be... 
but really the end. We have somebody here that is making a foolish mistake out of ego, out of pride, out of obsession, and it doesn't end well, and that's how I see it. But you're going to be broken free from this toxic individual, and you are headed down a path to prosperity and love, okay? So I do feel like it's time, and I think it's very, very sudden. There's a sudden change here. There is. We have somebody here that is, is refusing to wake up. They're about to get a wake-up call. Could be from a judge. I don't know. Maybe from maybe it's from you. Either way, we have the end of an era. We have the end of a cycle for you. You're headed in the right direction. Somebody that you're dealing with is not. Good luck.